Hey YouTube, Luke here, and this is my weekend report for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! That just happened today, actually, is a good tournament. We had uh, quite a number of people turn up, and he uh, yeah, has a good day in the end. Um, I uh, I won the event in the end. Uh, I was running Murma, the Atlantean Mermail deck. And it was um, pretty solid all day. Like it didn't really let me down at all. Is this? You know, just kept winning. Yeah, you know, I didn't. Uh, we had four rounds, and I uh, won the won them all without losing a game in the end because they were just you know just you know really good today. Anyway, I'll get um, stuck into it. In the first first round was against the Sun deck of a type uh, had a lot of. Uh, DD, you know, warriors, and also grave squirmers, you know, stuff like that, which kept destroying my cards or removing them from play. Anyway, um, I managed to just get around them in the end. You know, I was basically just, you know, use the marksman or maybe, you know, the heavy infantry. You know, use them, and they were pretty good for me. Just um, kept on blowing up cards, basically. I was able to recycle them with salvage, and yeah, you know, basically that's what I was doing the whole time. Or I could just get you know the exceed monster out. Yeah, that was very good. Anyway, I, was, I won that one two nil. Um, and in the round two, I actually um, played my friend Chris. He was running Gear Towns. Um, had to uh, had to lose a lot of points at t times, you know, to get around, you know, Gadgetron Dragon etc you know i i just um basically the smart thing i did was just you know bring out his end mains and just uh you know sacrifice it and just um you know get rid of the gadgetron etc and you know he was getting a lot of cyber dragons on the field and other stuff but i was managed to hold on you know gachi gachi was really good especially once you get your these two on the field is, oh, I got him on the field both games. Milner Glacier, he was um, good for me. Uh, and so was um, Miss Megalo. But I managed to win that one 2 0 as well. Uh, in the third round, I played against the Zombie Synchro deck. Um, and. Uh, see, I, I won that one 2 0 as well. That was. Yeah, he didn't really get many cards that he needed, to be honest. Uh, yeah, he did have a bit of bad luck, I have to admit. Uh, because I was able to, even when I was able to use Mill and Glacier Senders, like, I accidentally, I accidentally sent his Mill and Glacier, and, um, no, sorry, I used Mill and Glacier, and accidentally, and uh, his Mizuki and Plague Spreader to the graveyard, but uh, luckily I was, able to, I was able to win anyway. One of the cards that um, bailed me out was... Forbidden Lance when he used, uh, you know, like Torrential, and when he did get a couple of monsters on the field at the time, so I managed to, you know, mirror force them, and then I summoned, you know, Megalo, summoned this guy, I had another Gachi Gachi on the field, Gachi Gachi, I mean, and I was able to win that one 2-0. Uh, in the last round, you know, this was an epic match. We only got to play one game because it took for it took the entire time. Yeah, even when in even past the overtime mark and everything, I was playing against Jeff. He's one of the people that um, you know, is helping run it in a way, and he was playing Insectors. And yeah, you know, this was one hell of a duel because, as I said, it was the we only got to play one game because it just went forever and ever and ever like he was. Summoning you know, lots of monsters. I was summoning lots of monsters with them. Yeah, you know, Bisslin was also good, etc. You know, use. Oh, everyone knows, you know, that. Basically. Um, it got to the point where I think uh, at the end of it, I might have had like 10 cards or less in my deck. Yeah, you know, it was so thin, it wasn't funny. And he eventually just ran out of special summons in the end. Everything. Was just in his grave or, or a couple banished as well, and yeah, he ran out of special summons. Uh, and I was thin, uh, 
Yeah, I was nearly losing my day. He actually misplayed in the end. He um, used duality and had a... And he brought got a threatening rule from it. Uh, he decided not to... He pro, I think he forgot to use it anyway because he, he had a, a fiendish chain on the field and in the end I just I was normal summoned the Janus controller now that's what won me the match in the end was, he I managed to he managed to come back in the end I was actually quite uh, good at the start I managed to get him down to about oh, 6-2 after a few turns then he started counter-attacking um, he, he eventually uh, got an uh, acid golem on his field at one stage that was you know running wild in the end I managed to uh, torrential that and another monster of his so I forget which one it is and yeah in the end it was just the Janice controller normal son that won me it and yeah that was the only game we got to play of it so which was unfortunate because yeah it was, a, it was an epic duel just that one game but anyway uh that it was a, I had a lot of fun anyway. Yeah, met met some people I haven't seen in a long time. And uh, as prizes, I got um, I've got one of this rising, and I've got two hidden arsenal too. Um, so we might as well just get these over and done with. Uh huh. Uh, Shore Knight. Once per turn, when the battle phase, uh, when the battle position of this face-up card in the field is changed, send one mortar monster from your deck to the graveyard. Right. Let's try one of these. Yep. Whoops. Uh, it's Naturi, Leo Drake, Flameball Baby, Genix Spear, Shuri and your Hello of Justice Searcher. Huh. Though my Leo Drake is the secret from this one. And for the last one, come and do Lauren. Drag. Giganoto. Uh, Justice Unlimiter. Another Searcher. Oh, Flame of Veronica. Worm Links. Anyway, that will, yeah, that will conclude um, the tournament report for today. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll have another wee, one of these up uh, next Saturday. So, uh, bye for now.